Greetings to our Cornerstone Church members, our television partners and friends across America and around the world. I've just been listening to the national news, and if there was ever a time that America needed to hear good news, it's right now. I think St. Paul had a cheerful word, a hopeful word that he wrote to the Hebrews in chapter 6, verse 19. He calls hope the anchor of the soul. These are Paul's words, quote, This hope that we have as believers, as an anchor of the soul, is both sure and steadfast. I love those two words, sure and steadfast, because these are two words that America desperately needs to hear right now, because there's nothing sure or steadfast about our society or our future. St. Paul is under house arrest in Caesarea. This is the story behind the story. The Romans at Caesarea decided that he would be sent to Rome so that Caesar can hear his case as per Paul's request. While on this journey to Rome, the ship is caught in a vicious storm. The storm was so vicious they threw their cargo overboard and lost everything they had in an effort to survive. The Bible says the storm lasted for many days and they cast out four anchors off the back of the ship and prayed for the rising sun of the next day. The storm lasted 14 days and there were 276 persons on that ship. And St. Paul, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, looked at every person on that ship and said, quote, Not one of you is going to lose your life. That was a word of assurance. That was an anchor of hope. These four anchors off the back of that ship represent the anchor of hope. It's the portrait of America right now. America is presently in a vicious storm. We're in a storm like our nation has not known since the days of World War II. Everything is upside down. Our democracy is being attacked by socialism. Communism with lipstick, that's socialism. Hitler was a socialist. Joseph Stalin was a socialist. Our schools have been hijacked with critical race theory, pitting one group of Americans against the other. 71% of Americans believe the U.S. is on the wrong track. Right now, world leaders are calling for a, quote, vast military-style campaign to, quote, radically transform global economy. Can you say new world order? All of our lives are being disrupted. People are in social isolation. Businesses are being closed because workers are receiving checks from Washington for doing nothing. The fact is you deserve nothing until you work for it. That's God's policy. The land is filled with chaos and confusion right now. If there's anything we need to experience is stability that America can survive this self-inflicted storm. St. Paul and his companions threw the cargo overboard to save their lives. That means they were living under emergency conditions, and America is now living under emergency conditions. The storm lasted many days, but every person on that ship survived that storm. Now hear this. America will survive this storm. We will use our freedom to defend our freedom. The Bible says, hope thou in God. Hope is God's gift to the believer. King David writes in Psalms 42, 5, hope thou in God. If there's something we need in this raging storm, it's the renewal of our hope in God. St. Paul writes in Romans 15, quote, May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace so that you may overflow with hope. Jeremiah writes in chapter 29, verse 11, quote, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. They are plans, listen, for good and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Hope produces confidence. Hope brings joy. 
Hope is faith reaching out in the darkness, knowing that God is reaching back from the other side. My prayer for you is that the God of all hope fills your heart, floods your mind, saturates your home with a feeling that God is with us, that everything is going to be all right. This too shall pass. America is going in the wrong direction. Let's right it. The battle is hard. Let's fight it. The road is rough. Let's clear it. The future is vast. Don't fear it. Is faith asleep? Let's wake it. Today is ours. Let's take it. That's God's word for this week. I'll see you Sunday morning live over the internet at 8.30 or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook, YouTube, or our website at Hagee Ministries. I'll see you Sunday morning.